Why is Goblin Piledriver never sad? Because he has protection from the blues. <laughs> This video is sponsored by Cool Stuff Inc. With free weekly content and free shipping on orders over $150, you can save 5% site wide by using the promo code MTGMUDSTA. If you're looking for a direct way to help the channel, please consider joining my Patreon and becoming a member of the generic Goblin Gang. Hey, gang, and welcome back. Today's game has the M's returning to my basement with Maximus playing Xanathar. He keeps All is Dust, Phyrexian Arena, Talisman of Dominance, Deadly Dispute, Island, Swamp, and a Command Tower. Mackenzie is playing Maeve, who I actually didn't know existed, keeping High Tide, Codex Shredder, Sapphire Medallion, Two Islands, Min, Wily Illusionist, and an Omen Hawker. I've got Shorakai, I've got Fabricate, Katsumasa the Animator, Two Planes, Oswald Fiddlebender, Boreal Shelf, and Sram Senior Edificer. And last but not least, Mika is playing Anya, keeping Terminate, Terramorphic Expanse, Chandra Blaze, Guy Reach Sanitarium, Ensnaring Bridge, Megrim, and a Swamp. Mackenzie wins the die roll and starts us off. He draws and plays an island, and then casts the Omen Hawker. I draw and play a Tap Boreal Shelf. Maximus just plays a Command Tower. Mika plays Terramorphic Expanse. Mackenzie draws, playing an island, and casting Sapphire Medallion. He then taps his Omen Hawker to assert dominance, and passes. I draw, and play an island. I am able to cast Sram, and I pass to Maximus. Maximus plays an island, and Mika sacrifices the Terramorphic Expanse to find a mountain. Maximus then casts a Star Compass, and passes. Mika plays a Swamp, and casts Shrieking Affliction, passing turn. Mackenzie draws, and plays an Island. He plays out a Soul Ring, and then casts Maeve. He then uses the Omen Hawker to activate her, and target Sram with the ability, and after that, he passes. I draw, and play a Plains. I cast Fabricate in my main phase, grabbing Aerial Surveyor, and I then move to combat. Sram is goaded, so I swing him at Mika for two, and Mackenzie draws a card from it. I then pass my turn. Maximus has a swamp for turn, and casts Seravox Tome. He grabs an island from the initiative, and he taps the tome to help cast Talisman of Dominance. He passes after that. Mika draws, and plays Gyreach Sanitarium. He then casts his commander, Anya Falconrath, and passes. Mackenzie draws, playing out Burnished Heart in his main phase. He follows up with a Codex Shredder, and passes. I've got an island, and play out Aerial Surveyor, drawing from SRAM. I follow that up by casting Esper Sentinel, and then move to combat. I swing SRAM at Maximus, dealing two, and stealing the initiative. This lets me go and find an island, and I pass after that. Maximus plays an island, and then taps enough to cast All is Dust, not paying the one for the Esper Sentinel. I get to draw a card, but unfortunately we have to sacrifice most of our boards. In response, Mika activates Anya to discard a card and draw a card, and the board wipe then resolves. In the meantime, Mackenzie also decides to sacrifice the Burnished Heart to find two basics, and after that, Max passes. Mika draws, and activates Skyreach Sanitarium, so we all draw a card, and discard a card. He finds a Swamp, and plays it, and passes. Mackenzie has Arcanist the Omnipotent in his main phase, but with nothing else, has to pass. I scry two from the initiative, and then draw. I play an Island, and then cast Shorakai, and pass. Maximus plays Chromatic Lantern, and then taps 3 for Phyrexian Arena. Mika draws, and plays Megrim. I respond to the enchantment by activating Shorakai to dodge the damage, drawing 2 and discarding 1, and making a pilot token. Mika unfortunately doesn't have a land to play though, and he passes through the rest of his turn. Mackenzie draws, and plays out Min. He then plays out a Planeswalker with Kasima, but doesn't activate her, and passes. 
I move to another room into the Undercity, making a treasure, and then draw for turn. I play an island, and then cast Dermotaxi, exiling the Omen Hawker from Mackenzie's Graveyard. I then follow up with Oswald Fiddlebender, and pass to Max. Max draws a card and loses one from the arena, and draws for turn. He then plays Mystic Remora, and then casts his commander, Xanathar, passing to Mika. Mika draws and chooses Violence, playing out Necrogen Mist, and then passes. During his end step, Mackenzie activates Arcanus to draw three cards, and he gets an Illusion token off of Min's trigger. Mackenzie discards an island in his upkeep, and takes two from Megrim, and then draws her turn. He then plays an island, and then recasts Maeve. He also downtakes Kasima to loot, and makes a wizard token, but still takes two off Megrim. He also gets another illusion token from Min though at least. After that, he passes, and I activate Shorakai during his end step, drawing two, discarding one, taking two off Megrim, and making a pilot token. I discard a card on my upkeep and take two, and then make a skeleton token from the initiative, and then draw for turn. I play an island, and then cast Smuggler's Copter, not paying for Max's Mystic Remora. I then use Oswald to sacrifice the Dermotaxi, and go and find Cultivator's Caravan in its stead. I then pass to Max. Max discards, losing two, and then pays for his Remora, and then draws a card and loses one to the arena, and then chooses me for a Xanthar trigger. He then draws for turn, and plays an island off the top of my library. He follows up with a ghoul caller's bell, and activates it to mills all for one. He then casts the weatherlight from the top of my deck, and he goes to combat. Mackenzie goads Xanathar with Maeve before moving to combat though, and Max is forced to swing it at someone else. He decides to go at Mika, who takes the hit, and Max passes. Mika discards Curse of Fool's Wisdom, and pays the madness cost to put it onto Mackenzie. Mackenzie responds before it's enchanted onto him by activating Arcanus to draw three, and Mika then moves to his draw step. He still can't find a land though, so he draws and has to pass. Mackenzie discards and loses two, and then draws a card and gets drained for two from the curse. He plays an island, and follows up with Willbreaker. Going to combat, Mackenzie swings an illusion token at me, and I trade it with a pilot token. Mackenzie then puts Hall of the Storm Giants into play off of Min's trigger, and he passes after that. During his end step, I once more activate Shorakai and lose two off Megrin from doing the ability. I discard again on my upkeep and get to the final room of the Undercity. I resolve the ability and get to put out a Shimmer Dragon into play with three plus one plus one counters, and then draw for turn. I cast Cyber Drive Awakener in my main phase, which animates all of my artifacts into 4 4 flyers, and I then move to combat. I swing the Caravan and Smuggler's Copter at Mackenzie, who takes 8. In my second main phase, I play an Inventor's Fair, and then pot away the Cyber Drive Awakener with Oswald and tutor out a Reaver Titan. With that, I pass turn. Maximus discards, losing 2, and then draws a card from the arena, losing 1 and then pays for the Remora trigger, and then targets me again with Xanathar. He then draws for turn, and once that's done, casts Fade Away. Mackenzie attempts to capsize in response, but Max has an Arcane Denial off the top of my library. Mackenzie responds, activating Arcanus to draw three, but gets strained for six from the curse. Mackenzie then pays to keep Arcanus and Maeve around. While I pay to keep the Shimmer Dragon around, Max also pays to keep Xanathar around, and then activates the Ghoul Caller's Bell to mill us for one. He follows up with a Clearwater Pathway, and passes to Mika. Mika discards his card to the Necrogen Mists, and draws. He activates the Sanitarium again to make us all loot, and finally finds a land, playing at a swamp. He then plays a Tortured Existence, and passes. Mackenzie discards, then draws, and he plays High Tide in his main phase, and then casts Relearn, and gets back Capsize. He then uses Capsize with Buyback to bounce the Curse of Fool's Wisdom. Once that's done, he plays the Bath Song, 
drawing two and discarding one, taking two off Megrim. He follows it up by casting the Triska Decafile, and then down takes Kasima again to loot again, making a wizard token and taking another two. He wraps things up by goading Xanathar with Maeve and passes. During his end step, I use my treasure token to activate Shorakai. I discard, losing two, but then gain one from the Inventor's Fair and draw. I then play a Soul Ring and crack the Inventor's Fair to go and find a Mirage Mirror. I activate Shorakai once more, drawing two, discarding a card, making a pilot token, and then losing two. And then decide to crew up my Reaver Titan with pilots. Moving to combat, I swing the Shimmer Dragon at Mackenzie and the Reaver Titan at Max. With the Reaver Titan attacking, I deal five to each of my opponents. And before moving to blocks, Max crews up the Weatherlight and blocks the Reaver Titan. Before damage, Max sacrifices it to Deadly Dispute, drawing two and making a treasure, and Mackenzie then dies from the dragon. I move to my second main phase, playing Welcoming Vampire, and pass. Max discards, losing two, draws an extra card from the arena and loses one, and then decides not to pay for the Remora trigger. Once more he picks me with a Xanathar trigger, and I also remember that I've got another initiative trigger at this time, and I have to start at the top, and I go to find a basic to put to hand. Max then plays an Azorius Signet from my library, and then a Command Tower from me as well. He continues casting my spells with a Musio off the top, and then plays a Thought Vessel from his own hand. Going to combat, he swings Xanathar at Mika since it's still goaded, and Mika takes 5. With nothing else, Max passes. Mika discards, and then draws. He plays on an Ensnaring Bridge, and has nothing else, and has to pass. I discard, lose two, and then scry two from the Undercity, and then draw for turn. I then activate Shorakai, and make a deal with Maximus to kill Mika, and he casts Expel from Araska on the Ensnaring Bridge. I then crew up the Cultivator's Caravan, Smuggler's Copter, and Reaver Titan, and go to combat. I swing the three vehicles, and Shimmer Dragon at Mika, dealing five to everyone, and Mika drops to one. In my post-combat main phase, I sacrifice a token to cast Anchor to Reality, but Max responds, casting Narset's Reversal, bouncing the spell, and getting a copy of it. Max goes to find a Hammer and a Zahn off of it, and he targets Xanathar with the Enter the Battlefield trigger. With the trigger still in the stack though, Mika casts Terminate on him, and Max responds by casting Memory Lapse on that, and the Hammer gets equipped onto Xanathar. Max discards, losing two, then draws one and loses one, and then chooses me again with Xanathar, and then draws for turn. He plays Armed and Armored off the top of my library, and then plays a Knight Paladin from me, which as it enters, deals 4 to each of his opponents, and this kills Mika. Going to combat, Max smacks me for 7 with Xanathar, and steals the initiative. He moves to the next room, and puts 2 plus 1 plus 1 counters onto his commander. He then follows up with a Liquid Metal Torque of his own, and passes. I draw, playing out a Nautiloid ship, and as it comes in, exile Max's graveyard. I then cast Dispatch on Xanathar, but Max responds by casting Rewind to counter it. With that on the stack, I respond with a path to exile on Xanathar, exiling the commander, and the Rewind then resolves, which lets Max untap four lands. I then crew up a Smuggler's Copter and the Reaver Titan, and Max responds by overloading Cyclonic Rift. I bounce all non-land permanents back to my hand, move through combat, and then replay a welcoming vampire. I then move to discard, and pass. Max loses one and draws an extra card thanks to the arena, he then hits me for five as he moves through the Undercity, and then draws for turn. He then crews the Knight Paladin, and he casts the Mask of Avacyn, and equips it to the Knight for free. He then moves the Hammer to the Knight as well, and swings at me, without enough toughness to block, Maximus takes the game, Maximus wins the game. Game review time. This video was 1 hour, 21 minutes, and 21 seconds, which is kind of fun to see. This was a fun one, but most games are when I get to play Shorakai, and I cast some of my favorite vehicles, mainly the Reaver Titan and Cultivator Caravan. The deck could probably use more refinement and more protection, but I just enjoy it being a goofy vehicle deck. Maximus also got to benefit from it with his Xanthar deck, and he cast quite a few spells and played some lands off the top of my deck, which was cool to see. 
That Ham Revenant's ad in his deck was an interesting choice, but I guess it's kind of Voltron-y? It was interesting. Speaking of interesting, I had never seen Maeve and didn't even know that was a legendary creature. I believe it comes from one of those Game Night sets, and it's a cool introductory commander, and having Goad plus a draw engine built into it is pretty sweet. I did feel a little bit bad for Mika though. It seemed like he was really struggling for lands, and unfortunately that Nekogen miss was hurting him almost as much as it was hurting us. It was fun to see Megrim plus Curse of Fool's Wisdom really punishing Mackenzie for most of the game though. This video wouldn't be possible without the help from my sponsors, Cool Stuff Inc., Multizone, Original Magic Art, and Alter Sleeves. But it definitely wouldn't be possible without the help from you, the viewers, and my patrons. So I just want to say thank you for watching, and to remember, friends are just opponents you haven't eliminated yet.